we'll start with uh, efficiency work efficiency of a transformer is uh, basically when we talk about efficiency efficiency is always for anything efficiency is always the output we are getting divided by or to the ratio of input mathematically we can say This is mathematically representation of any efficiency of anything that is output upon input. For transformers, we can say that whatever be the input minus losses upon your input. Why this formula thing? Because of the reason that uh, maybe possible my output is not constant. But my input is constant. Losses. I can have the losses. I know the input. So I can find the efficiency. Some other formulas for efficiency is also there. We will see that. <coughs> efficiency is equal to x into full load kVA multiplied by power factor divided by your x into full load kVA plus Pi plus Pc. Now what is x over here? x is the percentage to the load since we can find uh, the efficiency at any load if, I, if my uh, transformer is fully loaded its percentage x would be 100 means 1 so whatever be the percentage if it is 0.9 percentage loaded then I will write 0.9 instead of x here also 0.9 square so will come over here so I can find the efficiency of the transformer in this way Another formula for efficiency again is V2 I2 cos phi 2 upon V2 I2 cos phi 2 again your <coughs> PC plus I square R or I can say R equivalent to this way. Everything has been discussed earlier. V2 is the voltage at the secondary, I2 secondary current, cos phi 2 is the uh, power factor, phi, V2 I2, PC is the core losses, I square 2, R E2, R E2 is the equivalent resistance referred to the secondary side or it could be primary side also I2 is the secondary voltage again so these are the formulas on which efficiency we can find we will see some question on efficiency before going into that we will understand what energy efficiency is We know that all the power transformers are designed in such a way that they work on full load of their KVA rating. Whereas, <coughs> sorry, whereas all the distribution transformers are designed in such a way that they give the maximum efficiency. Because of the reason that may be possible that uh, uh, since the load is fluctuation, fluctuating day by day or uh, hour by hour in the day if I say this, this is my load curve for per day and this is my efficiency normal efficiency this is my average and 
if I design a transformer for this much of, suppose this is your 100 kVA, this is 50 kVA, and my peak is 70 kVA. This is just an example to say that why we require the <coughs> distribution transformer uh, in or in another way we can say that how, why uh, we design a distribution transformer for working as for maximum efficiency rather than for maximum KVA rating. If my distribution transformer is rated at 100 KVA and 50 KVA is the normal load and 70 KVA is the maximum load per day. If I design a transformer for 100 KVA, what of this, this much of KVA rating of the transformer will be wasted. Another thing is that if I design for 50 KVA, I won't be able to meet this much of demand. When my demand goes high, my transformer will not be able to sustain that and it, will, it may go faulty at that time. So what to do now? Another thing is that since my load is fluctuating day, day by day or by hour by hour in a day, so what I'll do since this is approximately 20 kV right now, now it is well known fact that if I am using a 100 kV of transformer for just 20 kV of load, but obvious my kV rating of 80 kV is getting wasted. Another thing is that since all the core losses are happening per day in the same manner because core losses will be there even though when my load is very low that the transformer or the supply has to supply that much of core losses to meet the demand of the transformer. So I should be having a distribution transformer uh, to have the minimum core losses. So a distribution transformer is designed to have minimum core losses. So maximum efficiency of a distribution transformer always occur almost at the half of the KVA, not on the full load KVA. So one more thing comes into account that when I use this formula for finding the efficiency of a distribution transformer, I won't get the exact figure. But I need to have an exact figure when it comes to a uh, distribution. Because for distribution, I am reading each and every uh, uh, kilowatt hour ratings of the my uh, power meters and my power factor meters and all that. So I need to have something which is called as all day efficiency of a transformer. What is that we will see? All day efficiency. This is exactly a figure of merit for distribution transformers. I can say that this is figure of merit for this is figure of merit for distribution transformer such that that energy output in 24 hours divided by energy input in 24 hours. <clears throat> I can also say that energy output in 24 hours divided by energy output in 24 hours plus of your losses.
This is the formula for all deficiency for distribution transformer. Remember one thing which is very important for uh, in transformer that uh, we will have we calculating energy efficiency uh, on all day efficiency exactly of distribution transformer rather than the power transformer. Power transformers will be having a normal efficiency which we have seen in the previous this one, but all the distribution transformer will be uh, having all day efficiency, not a normal efficiency. Another thing is that we will see in preceding topics that we will be able to find the way the efficiency of a transformer is uh, taken out. There are several ways of finding out the efficiency of a transformer by certain tests. So uh, one more very important point is that all deficiency cannot be taken out by any of the methods. All the methods will give the actual efficiency of the transformer. This is a figure of merit as I said earlier. This, this will be taken by this formula only. So what this formula will be saying will uh, continue in there uh, some examples.